Yeah, they give them the documentation if they aren't born in the county on how to obtain it. And then they come to one of our case managers and we help them figure out how to get that done. I uh, don't want to look a gift horse in, a, in the mouth, for lack of a better uh, term, <laughs> but do you, what improvements do you think you guys would like to see surrounding this? Not necessarily, you know, this could be done better with this specific program, but yeah. I mean, you know, moving forward, what, what kind of things would you like to improve upon as far as programs and documentation working with the clerk's office? I think having more community partners in the building is going to be able to drastically impact the community. Transportation is a really big struggle for a large majority of these individuals. The, they rely on the bus system, they close at 5 p.m. and they're not open on the weekends. And then you're trying to get from building to building to get necessary documentation and those bus rides are about an hour long. So you get there after an hour of being on the bus and you have to wait for who knows how long to be seen because everybody's busy. And then you have an hour bus ride to get to the next place. So being able to have this building be the one-stop shop that we dream for it to be for the community is gonna be something that's extremely helpful. But then also making sure that the community knows that we're here. We, the Muskegon Rescue Mission, the Muskegon Rescue Mission is known as a homeless shelter and we are but we are now also a daycare. We are the community resource center. You do not have to be homeless. You do not have to be in our shelter. You just need to have the want. Bring that with you and we have everything else.